Hi all, uh, so Hi. it's uh, myself and Catherine uh, this weekend, it's Friday now, so going away Friday night and Saturday night, coming back Sunday, our William's working, so it's just us two, and we want to go into a place which is in Whitchurch, which is one hour's drive from where we live anyway, so if anything happened we could always you know, get back home pretty quickly, but our William, as you know, he's, uh, he's pretty good uh, with his cooking and different things like that, so he knows how to look after himself. Well, he's anyway, got his grandma. He's eh? got his grandma as well. Oh, he's got his grandma as well. Supposed to go away uh, last um, weekend, but my dad's not been so well. He's 89 and he had a little bit of pneumonia, so they had to keep him in, so we had to go down. So anyway, the, uh, this site, they were kind enough to um, transfer the book until this weekend. Anyway, Dad's home now. He's, um, he's settled down, he's settled in, he's getting better. Uh, we're just outside Tesco in Lena. We're going to get a few bits and bobs, then we'll pick up the Ariba and we'll we'll uh, hit the road. Anyway, we'll talk to you when we get to the storage site. Bye-bye. Yeah. So when we get on site, we're going to have to get two aqua rolls full of water um, because we drained all the, uh, all the water system down and it uh, takes about one and a half to one and three quarters to fill the tank right up again and purge everything through. It's easy enough, um, but anyway, I'll just go and set the sat -nav on the phone now um, and I'll go and have a little last check in what's going on there just to make, just to double check whether we've got the weight distribution right, fridge is on, battery, all the covers are, are, are closed off, all those kinds of things. See you in a bit. So we're talking one hour 20 minutes. Um, and we'll pick up on the six and um, whoops and we'll go down towards crew. to the left and the caravan and uh, campers here. So it's any of these really. <coughs> um, yeah so let's just have a look. We'll just go down further to the bottom there which is probably near the toilet block. Right we'll, we'll take this end one. Uh, maybe not it's a bit muddy. We'll reverse a little bit.
You have to pull the you have to go for the little thing. Oh be careful. Are you getting in this mud? You're going round it, your wheels are going round it mud. Right, so you've got these little ledges here and I just can't push the Ariba over with the car because my wheels are spinning. So I'm going to unhitch right now and we're going to motor move it on and then I can actually release the car to get out of that mud. Getting worse, Gary. Hi all, we're nearly settled in now, it's going dark, um, bit of a nightmare, uh, well you've seen it anyway, but once we've got this initial, um, you know, bit of a wind up out of the way, and we get settled in, and watch a bit of telly, it should be alright. So the river's going to need a wash, unless it rains a lot when we drive it up. Um, every piece of grass here, even though it looks well, well grassed, there's 12 in, there's just no drainage at all and the approach road and the way it's set out needs to be half as wide again in order for people to be able to reverse the caravans in. It's fine for little vans and motorhomes. It is a beautiful place, beautiful little site, but this is a problem. It's a play, it's really good. Oh, it started. Just putting the gas on. You can see there now, little flame, release it, and it stayed lit. Put it on number three. We're off grid, and the fridge is on gas as well. Got the gas through, and that should be okay. And anyway, it's ten to four. We've not eaten yet today. Just a quick ham sandwich, and then we'll have a chicken stir fry or something later. Anyway, I've just put my little torch on and show you. So we've got the jackery and I'm charging up the little August app here. That little August uh, Wi-Fi device. So this is where um, you don't need any Wi-Fi to get television because we've got the iPad there and the app is on the iPad and, and we've also got the Aerial, which is on the Ariba, plugged in here. And you know the, the the days of taking a 12 volt telly when you're off grid, they're just going to flatten your battery. So with our jackery and a low usage unit like that iPad, you know it just makes it life a lot easier for us, and we can go off grid for longer. Anyway, we're all settled in. We're having a catherine uh, a glass of wine. I've got a gin and tonic. Um, the, the problem is. Um, on the yeah, website okay. they tell you if you get bogged down the they charge you 35 pound if you have to call no the farm support, right. and it's not the options. farm it's just the bloke who lives in the house who runs the blinking oh. site so it's if they're telling you that they know there's a problem so if you're it's in a four-wheel drive and you're stuck on the grass no, are you going to immediately call the farmer uh, no, you're going to try and get it out, and that's why outside, I've made a bit of a pig's ear of it to be honest, but anyway, we'll see what happens from here.
all your vegetables next. For cooks, it's far too to eat, drink, and above all, be merry. The perfect venue. You're stuck in a studio with its four walls. Take a look at the vantage point. Look what you can actually see right across the Christmas. All the food. Oh. Steps on before actually, it's kind of it's it's slidey, but you're, you're you're kind of sticky. It's always sticky as well, like glue. Yeah. So this stickiness is actually a, a benefit. It's one of its key properties. One this stuff goes into ceramics and sanitary wear. It's also critical for something else: electrical porcelain, which is what you use to make the insulation bits of the grid. The brown parts here. They're really important when you're sat in your home and. you're putting in All your hopes and efforts are all in vain Who will pick you up when you've lost everything Does it all become for granted with a wedding Tuesday or in the new year when it comes back to power, that will severely wound his political authority and of course do a lot of damage to his promise to stop the votes. All right, Rob, well, thank you very much indeed. Uh, we'll wait to see what happens next week. <clears throat> Meanwhile, union leaders will meet later this morning to discuss the next move against the government's strike, which is described as undemocratic, unworkable 
and likely illegal. Well, joining me now uh, to discuss all the latest is Sky's correspondent, Molly Malone. Um, Molly, it sounds almost a bit dry on the surface of things, doesn't it? But this really go to the heart of what the union movement is all about, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. To the heart of what we've been seeing now for 18 months, these strikes playing out in the health sector across the NHS and across train strikes. We've seen so many of them. And the TUC hosting this special meeting. They're calling it a special meeting because we haven't seen that's so weird. We're just having a little ride out to a place we haven't been to before uh, called Whitchurch. Just have a pet up there. to Beatrice. It's very, very windy tonight. Bobcat blew on the roof then. Thank you, it. it is windy out there. Hi, last day today. It's around quarter past eight. We've been up since seven. Had uh, some sausage sandwiches, a cup of coffee, and uh, we're just going to set down now. We've got to drain all the tanks because we're, we're going away again in between Christmas and New Year. So it might be freezing before then. And we don't want to have to rush back to storage. Uh, so it's just a matter of setting down now, doing all the tidying up negotiating all the mud etc etc and uh, and off we go see you in a bit anyway that's the end of our um, two nights away a bit of a disaster as you know um, oh, the cars are blinking mess I'm gonna have to go and get it uh, valeted now um, it's just quick mud I think there's vehicles hiding under that grass that's sunk and never been recovered. Anyway, we're going to get out of it now and we'll see you in between Christmas and New Year. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.